What's up, this is Backyard Build, and today we are going to be doing a little bit of clean up in the engine bay for primer. So I hate wiring, and I hate taking it apart because it's just, I'm not good with wiring diagrams or anything like that. So we're gonna be labeling everything, and we are going to be making it as nice and neat as possible so they can hopefully prime it in every spot possible. Got some painter tape, and we will have Sharpie and some zip ties, and we'll just move along and see what happens and see how it goes, and you'll get to watch it. Hopefully it's a little bit entertaining. So what I can tell you off the bat is that labeling will be your best friend. Uh, even if you don't know about much, much about uh, wiring diagrams and stuff, but if you know where the wires go, just label them where they go and it'll make it a lot easier putting things back together. Um, especially in this case where I was told by the previous owner that this car was rewired at one point and I don't know what all that entailed or if it was done right. So I do know that maybe the colors of the wires don't match up with what they will in the diagram. So labeling will definitely be your friend later. So make sure when you do anything like this, you just take pictures of how it was and uh, mark as much as you can. So later when you go back, it'll be, it'll save you a lot of headache. done in it before. It had the 1600 motor taken out and a 73 2002 motor put in it and when I did that whole thing it was like my first major project on the car and it was a mess trying to figure out wiring and that's why this time I when I have the M20 put in I'm taking somewhere to be wired after I put it in because I don't want to mess it up and have an engine fire but that's why this time I'm labeling everything as I pull it. Barricaded the world with hate. We have developed speed, but we have shut ourselves in. Machinery that gives abundance has left us in want. Our knowledge has made us cynical, our cleverness hard and unkind. We think too much, feel too little. More than machinery, we need humanity. For those who can hear me, I say, do not despair.
So, due to time and the fact that I have to get it out for primer, um, rather than pulling the wire whole loom out, we are going to gather everything in the center as much as possible and we'll put a bag over it and they will have to uh, paint around it because I don't have time this week and it has to be out this week for paint. I don't have time to pull the dash and stuff and it's very time consuming and that would turn into another weeks of work. So we are going to start finishing up getting the wiring off of that stuff and kind of labeling and zip tying it together and seeing if we can get it towards the center of the engine bay so it won't be in their way for priming. All right, so what we ended up doing was not pulling it through the firewall, like I said, and just labeling everything and pulling it off to the side here. And it's gonna be put in a bag and it'll be just hanging in the center while they primer it. Um, pull it off some of the brake lines. The engine bay looks fairly clean, so definitely made progress there. Um, it didn't get out by the end of last week because there was a big snowstorm and got snowed in and couldn't come work in the car. So yeah, that didn't happen. So behind schedule and pushing through it, uh, a lot of work ahead of us this week. So there'll be plenty of content coming up soon if I have time to edit it or if he has time to edit it over there. That's what he does on the side, it's fun. So yeah. <laughs> 